Hello, uh, this is the first question in year 2009, form B. Let's look at them together. So here we have, um, at a certain height, tree trunk has a uh, circular cross section in this way where R of T is the uh, radius of the cross section uh, at a rate is modeled by this function. So this is a, a rate, how the uh, radius changes. Now, they give us the initial condition when t equals 0, radius was equal to 6 centimeters. Now, first, A, write an expression involving, the inter involving an integral uh, for the radius of r of t. Now, then in this case, A, to calculate A, we, well, one thing which we can do is this. Um, integral from 0 to 3. Or maybe we can call it t, uh, given that t is what we're looking for. So then in that case, we can just write this one as t. Uh, and then that's, uh, therefore, uh, dr dt. So I'm going to call it r prime t dt represents big R of t minus r of 0. But we know the r of 0 is equal to 6. So therefore, we can write it as r of t is in fact equal to r of 0, which was equal to 6, plus 0 to t for r prime of t dt. That becomes our answer. Now, now let's try to look into this one. Uh, given that, we got to figure out what r of 3 will be equal to then. r of 3 will be equal to 6 then, 6 plus from 0 to uh, 3 uh, r prime of t dt. Now in order for us to figure out uh, that portion we, we're just going to put this one into the calculator y equals so here we have 1 over 16 and open parenthesis 3 and we're looking at sine oops we're looking at 3 plus sine of t in this case we're going to call it as x squared All right, now uh, domain has to be 0 through 3, so we're going to have 0 through 3 at least. And making sure the mode is in the radian mode, okay, zoom fit, zoom 0. Then we're going to get a nice picture that looks like this one. Now, uh, we want to calculate. this expression, so what we're going to be doing is this, second trace, number 7, that's the integration, lower limit is equal to 0, upper limit becomes 3, and that's the value that which we end up getting. So therefore, our answer would have been 6.61. And continues on this way. There will be the radius. And in this case, it will be centimeters. All right, let's look at part B for a second then. Find the rate at which our area uh, is increasing at time t equals 3. Then we realize that a is equal to pi r squared, but in this case, a prime, which is our question, is equal to 2 pi r and r prime. Now, 2 is already well, we know, and then pi we also know. What is r when t equals 3? Uh, it was equal to 6.61. And what is r prime? r prime is simply the value at that particular point. So we get to realize second traced value. And uh, and I believe it was when t equals 3, so we're going to put t equals 3, x equals 3. Then we get this value here. So 
So R prime at the time would have been equal to 0.213. Now, then in this case, if you have to calculate all these things together, we'll end up getting two pi times six point six one times point two one three. That's the value that which we end up getting. So our answer becomes a point eight five, I guess, centimeter square per, I believe it is year. Okay, that would be our final answer. Let's look at part C. Evaluate this one using the appropriate unit. Now, in this case, uh, and then we need to uh, interpret the meaning of this one. So let's try to first evaluate this one first. 0 to 3 of a prime t dt is equal to a of 3 minus a of 0. a of 3 is when uh, we're going to have pi. What's the value of r? When t was equal to 3, radius was 6.61, so we're just going to have 6.61 square minus a and 6 square, so pi and 6 square. Then, what do we end up getting? Let's try to look into that together. Using the calculator, we have pi times 6.61 square minus pi times 6 square. Then we get this value here, 21.17 uh, 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 centimeter square. The meaning behind this one is this is the difference between areas when t equals 0 and t equals 3. Alright, that's it. I'll see you later.